are back with another blender blender video blender tutorial video um this is how to use the bodlin modifier and how to use text we're gonna start with text and we're gonna move into the bodlin modifier it's really simple once you get the hang of it and also i'll tell you how I'm, how i'm and also I'll tell you how I, oh, whoops, how I move my view. So you see my, you see my mouse right here, right on the camera, over there. There's this thing up in the corner and it'll, and once you go into Blender, it'll start by looking like this. I think that's as close as I can get it. I think that's what it looks like when you start out a new Blender file. But if you click that, if you click it, this isn't a this isn't a right click or a left click, and then move your mouse pad or your mouse, then your um, mouse will disappear, and so that's how I move it around. Just so you know that useful tip. And also this thing right here. Same thing. So let's get started on text. So to add in text, you click, you click add. As always, this is usually what you're going to start out doing. Then do text. Then as you can see how it's highlighted, it says text. Well, you think that you would be able to edit that. <laughs> There's really nothing to do with it. So what's it for? Nah, I'm just kidding. You can edit it. <laughs> I was just joking with you. Yeah, so let's move this out of our cube and actually I'm gonna delete the cube. You can change the color of it, but I haven't gotten to a color episode yet. And so what we're going to do is you see this thing over here. It's above all this stuff. And then it says user perspective, one collection, um, line, space, text. And it's next to object, add, select, and view. And there's a little drop down that says object mode. That's the mode that you're in when you go into a new Blender file. It has more modes, but when you're, but when text is selected, they'll just say object mode and edit mode. If you click edit mode, then a little white line will pop up. It's really just like typing in an email or something. So you could type in to the... Moon. You could type in to the moon and back and it'll be right there, period. There. Question mark? There. Oh, that's okay. Question mark. Information point, there. Um, whatever this thing is, there. Uh, dash, there. Plus, <laughs> to the moon and back, plus, y o u equals, uh, <laughs> tell me in the comments what you think that equals to the moon and back, plus u equals what? It would be useful if you told me to the moon and back, plus u equals, then tell me, because then I would know what you're talking about. So please do that. <laughs> that That's going to be very helpful. Yeah, so to the moon and back, plus u equals... I'm going to say, actually, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. 
Sorry, noise in my background. <laughs> Something fell, not sure. So, tell me what you think that is. Actually, So there we go. So that's how you use text. I think I'm gonna save this file. <laughs> then, yeah, I think I'm gonna save this file. This is how you save a file. Hit file. Nope. Hit file, make sure not to go into edit. Go down, you'll see new, open, open recent, revert, recover, save, save as, save copy, Link, append, data, data previews, import, export, experimental data, cleanup, defaults, or quit. Which I don't know what that does. But if you click save or control S, it says right there. If you click save, then you'll see this. And you have to name it, or else it'll get replaced by something else. That actually happened once while I was doing a Blender class, and I had to start over my work, and so don't do that. So I'll name it to the moon back. And so it'll say saved to the moon and back. Equals dot blend. And it's always gonna put and dot blend, whatever you name. So that's how you do that. And so if you go back into object mode, I'm gonna move that over here for next episode. Well, I guess the next episode, since I don't have a channel yet. Then I'm going to tell you once I have a channel, once I get something in the comments. Okay, and now, now how to use the bullet lens modifier and the array modifier. So, we're going to... Add a. Hmm. Let's do something different this time and add in a inkosphere. I feel like those inkospheres look really cool, my in my perspective. So you do that, move it up, obviously. But if you click add again, then add I don't know. How about let's add a cone. Move it up and move it into it like that. But the cone can't be selected for it to work. And I'll show you why in a second here. So if you go down to the wrench, it's right under... Don't know what this is. But if you go to the wrench... It'll say the object that is selected, this little drop down, and follow con context or keep fixed data block display, which I don't know what that does. If you click add modifier, and then you see modify, then you'll see generate, I think. You'll see array and bullet which those are really the only ones which I know what they do. If you click Bolin, you'll see this pop up. A little arrow, its symbol, bull, a camera, a laptop, whatever. Two, two more arrows, an X button, that's to remove the modifier. Apply, copy, operation, difference, object, this, and overlap threshold. All, all that stuff. None of this stuff... I don't really know what any of this stuff does. I'm not an expert in Blender. 
But the only things that we're going to use is this and this. I bet that copy just copies the effect in a different key. So if you click that, this is how not to do it. <laughs> so if you, so with the cone highlighted, this won't work and I'll show you what it does. If you click the Inkosphere, Then hit apply. Oh. Not what I meant to do. Okay, so it doesn't do that. So if you click the Inkosphere, add modifier, modeling modifier, <laughs> tap the cone. And then hit apply. What happens? Well, if we look under it, then we make it to where we can't see the cone. What? And here, I'll even put it in that mode. What? Copy it. Make it bigger. But you'll think, oh, that's just, that's just normal. That's always what spheres look like. Well, it's not. If you just did that, which I don't think that you actually did that. Which I don't think that you probably just did that. I'm not sure. But if we say that's smooth. You can hear my mouse right now. You probably can. <laughs> you just made a hole in a shape in Blender. What? And then, of course, you can't see that cone. I didn't actually delete the cone. Cool. Delete. 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 And also something that I sometimes do, if you do that, then you can't delete it. It has to be on that screen. So delete an object. What? Yes, you can do that. May the force be with you to create holes and objects in Blender. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's a cool thing that you can do. Let me get back in there. Yeah, that's something that I think is really cool. And the other modifier is array. Pause, pause the video and tell me what you think array is going to do. Okay, hopefully, hopefully you haven't peeked and just waited that a little bit out. <laughs> yeah, so what do you think that array is going to do? Tell me in the comments. Well, this is what array does. <gasps> it makes an exact copy of something. And so when you make it bigger, both become bigger. So you can do that. Yeah, so that's really cool. And then to change where it's mirrored, you There we go. You move 
that. So if you want it exactly under it, then you could go, whoop, nope. That's how many you made. That's how many you make. So I think that this modifier is pretty cool if you need a bunch more of something. Yeah, that looks really cool. But anyway, play with this modifier. Tell me what you think about it. I think that's pretty cool. But there's one more modifier, and that's mirror. That basically does the exact same thing. Except the other way. So play with those two modifiers and see what the differences are. But I think that, that these modifiers are really cool. Ooh, up, up, and away. Big. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this and <laughs> uh, like I said, still no channel, so still no at the end catchphrase. <laughs>